Hello guys, my name is IronMac117 and today I'm looking at the Star Wars Black Series reveals at San Diego Comic Con. I thought we could check these out. Um, I just did one on the Marvel Legend ones which look really cool and I thought I would check out the Star Wars ones now. Um, so first off we have old Ahsoka here in the Ahsoka, Ahsoka the White or whatever that planet name is. Um, pretty, looks pretty good to be honest. It looks like they've like they've fixed the head like her head the head looks incredible like the face looks really good um obviously they've changed the box out a little bit there we go um the tentacles like they're a bit longer because in ahsoka they're a bit longer compared to how they were in um um the mandalorian tv show another thing as well like they've actually changed the headband there as well so that's pretty nice but i love the colors i love everything she looks so good there I do wish she came with the cloak. I think that would have been really cool. But you just know they're going to, like, release another version to get that. But I don't know why they're so against releasing that by itself. But it still looks really good. Um, I This might be a pickup for me. I've kind of, like, been... I haven't got... like I, I still haven't even got the Season 3 um, and 4 and 5, I guess, Ahsoka. Like, that's still one I need to get. Um... But yeah, I I think this one looks really good. I think this I don't know if this will be one I'll pre-order, but I definitely like if I see it, I'll probably pick it up. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, yeah, next off we have th this guy, Basil. This is from the Acolyte. I've only watched parts of the Acolyte. I think everything I've seen just it looks so bad. Um, I don't really have much to say about this character besides that apparently he identifies as a they. Or her or something. I, I saw something on that. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I just, I don't really care. <laughs> it's the Acolyte. Who cares? Um, this is Andor from Season 2 of Andor. So, yeah, I mean, that show must be coming out this year or next year. But this looks really cool. I really like this look. I love the two guns as well. Um, oh, no, okay, so we didn't get a box. Uh, it looks like he's got, like, his gun from Rogue One there, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks to be all new sculpt as well, which is good, because, um, that first Andor fig is not a great fig, like, from Rogue One. And then he looks like he has the pistol as well. It doesn't look like he has any way to put it, though, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe that's just how he is in the film. He has a bag as well, but I don't see no bag there. What are you on about? Cassian Andor. Then we have, uh, oh, God. Dedera Mero? I don't know how to say this girl's name. But she was really good in um, Andor, to be honest. She was a really good villain in that. She, I mean, look at her. Jesus, look how menacing that is. <laughs> but um, she, that, really good. It looks like she's using that female body again from the Obi-Wan. Obviously, they've changed the tags and everything like that. But it's a really good body from what I've seen. I don't actually personally own that fig. But yeah, and then she comes with like... Looks like a Han Solo type gun. But... Yeah, and then she comes with that little tag. I mean, tag. iPad or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool for people who like like that character. Then we have um, the IG-11 with... Or oh, IG-12, actually, sorry. With Grogu. This is... Now, I don't really care for this. I think they've done so many Grogu stuff. But the one thing that people are really happy about, that this is a whole new sculpt. This is not a... Um, reuse of that old archive one or the old the really old ig88 and that's really cool like the the fingers can move and like it's taller as well like it's the proper size now because that was always an issue it was always too small and here they've actually probably done so i'm hoping that they do like a reissue or a, a new version of ig11 or ig mainly ig88 ig11 i can live with but ig88 i would like a new one um, but yeah, so that's something for people if they want it or not, but, um, I don't know, Th to me, this is probably a pass. Uh, I do have most of the Mandalorian figs, to be honest, but this one, to me, might be a pass. Um, God. okay, Grogu, yeah, uh, it comes with those two little dudes. Jeez, they really love showing off this guy. Come on, there we go, okay, we've got to the good one. Okay, the Imperial Armored Commando, definitely buying this. Gonna get two of them. These were really cool in Mandalorian Season 3. 
despite season three not being very good these were really cool i really loved these guys design um yeah they just looked really cool to be honest i love the guns there the holster so they can have a gun there um yeah just a really cool design jetpack as well so soon they'll just be going in got the rocket missile there details just look so good Mmm, it could kind of look Death Trooper-y, like they're Mandalorian slash Death Trooper, I don't know, I, I guess, yeah, I guess that's what they're kind of meant to look like, but yeah, it looks really cool, definitely gonna pick these up, um, I love Imperial Troopers, so, yeah, then we have this woman from, uh, Acolyte, whatever her name is, um, Leslie Headland's wife or whatever, I mean, not a bad sculpt, you know, I think all the, I, to be honest, despite the Acolyte being a really crappy show, I think all the figures look pretty good, and all the Jedi look really good, she doesn't come with a whip or anything, it's just a normal saber, but I assume that's probably because the whip's probably really hard to do, um, I don't really care for this at all, I mean, if you like the Acolyte, there you go, or the High Republic, oh, the black screen. and then there you go in the box, and there you go, blah blah blah, Oh, yes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, that's it. That's all the sales figs. Okay, there's not many. I thought there was a lot more. Maybe there wasn't. Oh, there was pipeline ones. That's right. Um, I don't know if they've got anything showing pipeline stuff. No, no, they do not. Hmm. No, whatever. But yeah, they had some pipeline ones, which looked pretty cool as well. Um, hold on, maybe I can find it. Give me a sec. Okay, I just went to Yak Face. I found it here. Um, let me just, if I get rid of myself for a second. That one? Nope, not that one. <laughs> that one. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm so dumb. Anyway, so what we have here is, um, so we have the Wookiee Jedi, which is pretty cool from the Acolyte. Um, Grand Moff Tarkin. In his uh, Do Doctor Doom gear. Uh, we have the Royal Guard kind of looking. The Praetorian Guards kind of thing. They're really cool. So definitely looking forward to that. We have Anakin from um, the Ahsoka show. Which is really cool. Captain Rex from Ahsoka. They've just shown the Clone Wars photo. Because I assume it's probably because there's not a real clear shot of how he looks in Ahsoka. From in the Phase 1 armor. Definitely pick up for that when that comes out. Uh, we also have the Revenge of the Sith. Uh, clone here i cannot remember his name but he was with kiati mundi definitely gonna get that that's really cool the commando droid there's been uh, a droid most wanted for me i've been wanting that one for ages and then we got this guy from shadows of the empire which his name is not coming to me um and there was a leaked image of savage as well actually which they didn't show here so i wonder if that's just gonna be like oh here you go here's savage just randomly on a random day but um really cool really happy with all these pipelines to be honest except for the wookie i don't really i don't i don't care about acolyte i'm not buying any acolyte fix fuck that but definitely like these ones 100 percent shadows of the empire eh? i'm not i'm not a big shadows of the empire fan um well then again i've never read them uh, I, I should say i've never read them so i should probably oh it's a game as well isn't it it's a game and then there's books and everything someone's gonna tell me but really cool cannot wait for these but uh, yeah, anyway guys, that's really it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please tell me what you think about these videos if you like me doing them. If not, then cool. But I thought I'd give it a go. Cheers.